Greetings, ladies and gentlemen, young and old, to the interactive adventures of Dog Mendonta and Pizza Boy. I am not saying that entire title every episode because it is ridiculously long. Anyways, let's start a new game. Remember those monster stories you heard as a kid? No. Well, all those stories were true. What? And they all live right here in this godforsaken city. Lisbon, Portugal. So we're in Portugal? A place where nightmares crawl just outside the corner of your eyes. Where the air is tense with the resounding sound of footsteps that belong to no one. I've actually felt that, but yeah, let's keep going. Where every shadow quivers with eyes unseen by. Dog, who are you talking to? <laughs> so he's just giving a monologue. Okay then. What? Pizza boy, don't interrupt my intro. <laughs> don't you think we have more pressing matters at hand? Oh yeah, and how did we get into this mess? I seriously have no idea. Tell it to me as if I were five years old. Okay. Well, it was a normal day at the office when someone knocked on the door. The office? Boring! Start with a car chase. A car what? Fine. Let's start with a car chase. So, we're just backtracking now? Or E. Cola. Dog, I can't believe you pulled my head off. Again! <laughs> so apparently it's not the first time. It's not my fault. I confused you with another gargoyle. You all look alike. That's racist! At least I didn't have to say it. Guys, why don't we concentrate on the driving? You know, keep our eyes on the road? Don't tell me how to do my job, pizza boy. And they're throwing boxes at If you don't stop those gargoyles, they'll finish the ritual. And then the whole world will be engulfed by the flames of some ancient deep. Ritual? Um, not that all you demons are bad, mind you. Right, Pazul? Uh, why is she just aiming down a shotgun? It's all your fault, Yuriko. If you hadn't blown our cover, none of this would have happened. You should have kept delivering pizzas. My job was easier without you poking around. Says the werewolf who could have turned and finished the coven right there. I did not know he was a werewolf. Shut up, pizza boy. That plan lacks elegance. Look, dog, I'm a little bit tired of being the butt of your jokes and your personal scapegoat. The butt of the jokes? That's our own little gargoyle's place. <laughs> Thanks, guys. You always make me feel like an important part of this team. I feel even more uncomfortable than that 6,000-year-old demon trapped inside a little girl's body. Oh. Okay, Pizza Boy, I think we got him. Prove you're not completely useless and finish them off. All right. Light that cocktail I left on the back seat and blow him up. A Molotov? I'm on it, dog. Oh, am I actually... Yep. It's on! And... Yeah, that should do it! And in wow, that went up like Christmas lights. I'm Dog Mendoza, 
Cockatrice turds, and you are all guilty of breaking the code. Okay. I'm already loving this game. Have you cleaned the waste paper basket yet, pizza boy? I already love this game. It's just so ridiculous. So much for the glamour of working as an occult detective's intern. I don't think that's the sound an empty basket makes. Do what I want, Sally. Oh. Exactly. Okay, I'm not doing anything. There's someone at the door. If it's for the rent again, just say no hablo portugues until they leave. It looks like a young woman. Maybe it's a case. Maybe. A girl? Quickly, Hazul, Gargoyle, everyone to their places. Clean the crumbs off the sofa. Put those pizza boxes in the trash can. We have work to do. Look as cool as possible. But not cooler than me, of course. That's gonna be pretty hard. Hi, my name is Nadia. Which of you is Doc Mendoza? That would be me, honey. And what brings such a delicate flower as yourself to a humble place like this? I read that you're a detective of the occult, and I think I might be needing your services. You think? Tell little doggy what's the problem. A poltergeist? Zombies? Vampires? Gargoyles searching through your dumpster? I'm scared. I'm not really sure of what I know. Do you believe a curse can bring people back from the dead? Maybe you can help me figure out how deep this goes and how dangerous it is. That kind of job has our name written all over it. Count us in. I don't think we got a choice in this matter. Uh, hmm. We would like to ask you some questions first before we can take the case. Are you in some kind of danger? I don't think so. I'm scared, but I still don't know if I'm in some kind of danger. Who or what are you scared of? Something happened to me. I can't really put it into words, but I might be in need of some help. To her? What kind of job is it? A stakeout? Personal protection? You want an exorcism? That's overwhelming. Maybe I came to the wrong place. I don't know if a detective is really what I need. What? No, pizza boy, you and your boring questions. Don't ruin this for me. I mean us. It's business. Sure. Meeting a new client is almost like interrogation. You not only need to know why they landed at your doorstep, but also everything that would help your case. Sometimes, there are details people hide without knowing it. Sometimes, they just don't dare to tell the whole truth. I'll try my best with this new potential client, although I think Dog will ruin it for me. Probably. Remember, it's all about asking the right question and having the right reaction to their answers. This will squeeze the truth out of them. Wait, are we actually going to be doing this? Now I have to retrace those questions to see how much information I can get out of them. Hmm. Alright, ask if she's in danger. Are you in some kind of danger? I don't think so. I'm scared, but I still don't know if I'm in some kind of danger. I mean, the thing that's haunting me hasn't done me any harm yet. Oh, she said something different this time. Hmm. Emphasize. Now, now, just relax and tell us what is so scary. Don't patronize me. I'm not five. That was not the right follow-up. No, was it? Okay. Hmm. Confront? If you're not in danger, why are you here? Like I said, I'm scared. You don't know who's behind all this. Do you? Besides, I don't think I'm the one in danger. Its threat extends far beyond me. Oh. Who is in danger? I don't know. I think many people are in danger, but I don't know exactly who. Can you name at least one? Knowing what I know, it could be anyone. 
Oh, pizza boy. You clearly don't know how to treat a girl. And that's why you'll die alone. No, you clearly don't know how to treat a client. I have a girlfriend. Her name is Anna. Sure you do. Sure you do. So, someone else is in danger. If Dog wouldn't have interrupted, we would have found out who. Yeah. Who or what brought you here? Who or what are you scared of? Something happened to me. I can't really put it into words. But I might be in need of some help. We've heard that. Do you think something can come back from the dead? Hmm. I don't know whether I should maybe try it. Sure. If you think this is what it is, we're with you a hundred percent. Don't patronize me. I'm. I was not. No, right. was it? Confront. If something did come back, why is it haunting you? What did you do? I come here with a problem, and you- Stop pester- That was not the right- Alright, asking the same question. Who or what- Something, do you think? Alright, let's tease? Please tell me it's not zombies. That's so cliche these days. What about ghosts? A vengeful ghost. Would that pique your interest? Ghost? You mean like a white sheet and shackles? No. More like a living horror hiding behind a mask, piercing the night with her shrilling voice. So it's a she. In our trade, things behind a mask are not supernatural. They're mostly janitors, water slide attendants, or nuns. Yeah, this isn't Scooby-Doo. You won't be laughing when the bodies start to pile up and they return. I don't think any of us is safe with her around. Oh. Maybe you're not the right people for this job. Now, now, girl, don't be scared by that guy. He's not very bright. But he means no disrespect. Speak of bright. No, I'm not gonna say it. I'm the perfect man for the job, you know? No matter what the job is. No, you're not. Obviously, he is not. I created the Code, a set of rules that keeps the paranormal and human world apart. So, you know, I have experience, if you know what I mean. Oi. So, we're dealing with a ghost, a female ghost at that. But who's the they she brought up? I wish Dog would have just let me conduct the interview. Yeah. I mean, he's not he helping at all. Ask about the job. What kind of job is it? A stakeout? Personal protection? You want an exorcism? That's overwhelming. Maybe I came to the wrong place. I don't know if a detective is really what I need. I mean, do you even know how to break a curse? Do you even deal with those things? We're cult detectives, of course they do. Emphasize. Look, whatever it is, I'm sure we'll find a way around it. We're here to help. But for that, we need you to speak up and tell us what happened. Yeah. I think I'm involved in some kind of gypsy curse. Really? <laughs> gypsy curses. There's no such thing. Coming from the occult detective. Dog. <clears throat> I, I mean, sure. We break everything. Curses, artifacts, covenants. If you can make it, we can break it. I see you don't believe me. But it's happening. I know what I heard. I've seen the gypsy curse with my own eyes. As a matter of fact, I think I've been seeing it all my life. But only now I came to realize what was happening. Oh. And it's dangerous. I don't feel safe anymore. No, of course we believe you. Like our motto says, satisfaction guaranteed. Take it from the Alpha Dog himself. I really hope he doesn't call himself that. So, she believes there's a gypsy curse involved, and she heard it from someone else. That's something, at least. Yeah. Sum it up. 
Yep, that's all I can do. Well, let's see what we learned so far. There is a ghost that might be after someone. And this ghost might be related to a gypsy curse. Yep. I'm sorry, but this is too vague. I don't know if we can make up a case out of this. I'm sorry, but I'm not the one being judged here. I want to see if you are worthy of my trust. Your job is to dig up what happened not only for me, but for everyone involved. As for the rest, what comes around goes around. What do you mean? What? Was that a threat? Yeah. Well, I heard enough. We're taking your case, lovely lady. Let's discuss the details over dinner. Privately. Oi. Dog, I think she just threatened me. Nonsense, Yuriko. I will take her out for dinner now, and maybe to a movie to release stress. And who knows? We might even end up stopping for ice cream. Oh, dog. You really should not mix romance with work. Remember, boy. Don't do a gypsy wrong, or everything you love will rot inside of you. <laughs> she got you, see? She's a blast. Don't wait up for us. Minutes later. Hey, this is awfully quiet and peaceful. It feels kind of nice. I wonder what's missing. Well, I can think of one thing that might make it might be missing that can make it quiet. I should probably pick up that phone. Probably. That's a gargoyle. Oh, here's the phone. Doc Mendoza, Paranormal Investigator Office. How may I help you? Eureka, I need your help. Now, it's an emergency. Oh, great. Doc, long time no see. How are you? This is no time for formalities, pizza boy. Come and help me. I'm at Motel Romero. Be quick and bring Pazul. There's a goddamn gypsy curse in place. Okay, everyone. We're heading to Motel Romero. It seems like Dog got himself in some kind of trouble. You think? I already love. I love this loading screen. Nice. Wait here. I'm going to give Dog a hand. I got nothing in here. Oh. Okay. Let's check the graveyard. It's locked from the inside. And no, I can't climb the fence. I might scratch the jacket and then lose my inventory. <laughs> oh, I love it when they break the fourth wall. Um, let's, yeah, let's talk to him. Is Dog all right? Um, for a moment there, I completely forgot what I was supposed to do. I'll go check on him. Can we take Is him? Is Dog all right? Um. Oh, I can't. There's no need, there's literally nothing I can do. Let's just go to the lobby. That tree looks like three, four faces. I take it you came here for the fat man? Yep. Yeah. Has he broken anything yet? No, he's quite still. You can see it for yourself. He's in front of the telly. I should have seen that coming. Yeah, probably. Um, why is he in a cage? So there you are. What happened to you? I'm in a cage, pizza boy. I thought you were smart enough to notice that. You could transform into a werewolf and free yourself. Why haven't you? Yeah. 
I'm busy contemplating all the wrong decisions of my life. Like hiring you. Actually, that's probably the only good decision he ever made. Besides, the cage is made of solid silver. Werewolves are deadly allergic to silver. Yeah, allergic. So, you want me to lift the cage? Oh, I called you because Candle Cove is on and I can't turn the TV. But you could actually do that, yes. I wasn't Oy. expecting you to be of any help. But maybe you can free me and then I can go upstairs. There is a suspect from my case hiding in there. After locking me in this cage, I believe we need to meet eye to eye. Oi. <sighs> All right. How am I gonna... How am I gonna look the cage? Doesn't, doesn't exactly say... Oh my gosh, that's so cute. Hey doggy, who's a good boy? Who's a good boy? <gasps> Allow me to translate, pizza boy. I know how to speak dog. Of course you do. He says that you should consider your next step for it might be your last. <laughs> he is the spawn of Cerberus, a true demon incarnate. And he will slit you open and feast on your guts. <laughs> oh my gosh. You hellish fiend. Is that the same mouth you use to lick your privates? What the hound said is just too horrible to translate. Believe me, I'm doing you a favor, Yuriko. Okay. I may have to find another way around it. Clearly. Ugh! This will leave tons of hair inside my jacket! It'll itch like hell! <laughs> uh, okay, I can't go upstairs. He hates the cat at least as much as me. <clears throat> Being so low in the pecking order just depresses me. Alright, so that's not how I get through. Costumes. An array of different suits, maybe for costume parties? Yuck! Imagine licking that. <laughs> All right, I'm very comfortable with my jacket. It not only looks cool, but it has a lot of space in its inner pockets. The furnace. No way I'm picking that up. <laughs> Clearly. Is there anything else in here? No, I guess I'm going back upstairs. What else is there to examine aside from the receptionist? Why there's so much rope? Um, I have no idea what to do. watching TV during an inv- Alright, yeah, yeah, yeah. There's gotta be something I can- That dog is in my way. That dog's a psycho. I better not mess- That dog's a psycho. Hmm. I have no idea what to do. Maybe go back outside for a bit? There gotta be something like a new. Um, alright, give me a second. Try and figure out what I'm supposed to do here. One hour later. 
an ugly, dirty, embalmed cat. Hmm. An array of different suits, maybe for costume parties? Oh, the toy truck. Now I can finally realize my childhood dream of having a toy truck. Man, I can't wait to take this bad boy for a spin at the closest sandbox. I'll be king and all the other children will want to play with me. This is my chance of becoming popular. Says the grown man. Or I can just use it to help my lazy boss out. That too. This is something I should have drawn in elementary school. Behold, that Catmobile, patent pending. <laughs> Why did I think about this earlier? And off we go. Well, that took care of that. Now I should go upstairs and find a way to free dog. Yep. You know we're better, probably better off without him. Hmm. What room did he say? What the? A dead body? This must be dog suspect. Yeah. Does that mean that he actually has a case? I thought he was on a wild goose chase. Yeah. Things got real all of a sudden. I need to get Doug up here right now. All right, let's um go back out. Maybe go into one of the other room. It's locked. Oh, bathroom. Hmm. There's a lot of makeup on the shelf, but I don't feel like using it. I'm digging how I look right now in unfiltered HD. <laughs> oh, I love the. I love it when he breaks the fourth wall. What's an. Oh, I can't go into that one? Great. Hmm. I mean, this, this is obviously where the thing is. But I can't... Oh, I can examine the dead body. I don't know who he is, but he's dead all right. Yep. Chubby doesn't begin to cover the proportions of this dead body. Nope. This must have something to do with Doc's investigation. And I thought he got himself in trouble fooling around. I did not see that lever earlier. Pizza boy, you lifted the cage. I mean, it took you more time than it should, but you did it. Oh, shut it. Hey, wait. Who are you? It's you. But, but it can't be. You're dead. Huh? What's going on? Can you hear me? No. No, no! The curse is real! Leave me alone! Don't touch me! Don't you dare! Hey! Dog! What's happening down there? Are you alright? Uh-oh. Dog! You can't walk like Shaggy. The door's shaggy. closed! I'm trapped! I need to get out of here and help him! Door the window! It is technically a way out, but there is nothing to cushion my fall. He's too fat. I don't think I can carry him anywhere. What about the sandbag? So much for preserving the crime scene. Oh. Oops. Yeah. Sorry, Oops. doggy. <laughs> I'm not sorry. Alright, through the window now. I guess I could cushion my fall if I fell over the body. That fell over that devilish hound. 
Okay, here goes nothing. Well, I guess Rigor Mortis hasn't set in yet. I broke even more bones. Ouch! I scraped my knee. I mean, couldn't you just aim for the mattress? What am I doing? The dog needs me. There's no time to lose. Right. Where do I go? Seriously. Okay, there we go. Hey, the door to the graveyard opened from the inside. That was convenient. Yeah. Um, okay. To the lobby. Hey, dog! Are you alright? What he said? Uh, he's not here. Damn it! Dog is gone. He's truly gone. What should I do now? Good question. Hey, guys, did you by any chance see Dog leave the motel? No, but we saw you jump out of a window. Not the most graceful fall. Thanks. I don't know how to tell you this, but I think he might be in some kind of trouble. You mean, in more, deeper trouble? Yeah. Yeah, I think someone kidnapped him, and I don't know where to start looking. Oh no, he must be dead by now. What are we going to do? Don't jump to conclusions. If someone was trying to kill him, he probably would have done so and left the body. Yeah. He's too heavy to just carry his dead weight around. Yeah. Well, it seems you'll have to put your detective skills to the test. Just think, what would Dog do? He would... He would consult her. Yeah. Not her! Do you mean... What does he mean? Apparently we're going to Chinatown. Are you here for Miss Chen? Business or pleasure? We need her help to find her friend. Business. Please, wait here. Miss Chen will see you in a moment. I don't know why we keep coming here. She's a... Man, come on. Have some respect for the woman. Dog always finds her helpful and, right now, she might be the only one who can point us in the right direction. All right. Miss Chen is ready to see you now. Did his voice change? I can't trust you to keep silent, so I'll better go in on my own. There's, did his voice change? Yuriko, in your eyes I see a sad glow. Come and tell me, what do you want to know? It's a long story. Tell me the whole story, in all its detailed gory glory. At least it skipped it. Dog trapped in a cage? <laughs> oh, oh, so vaudeville. But how does the story end? Don't leave standing still. Yeah, I know it sounds a bit ridiculous, but that's what happened. And when I came back, Dog was gone. Swoosh! Please, Yuriko, spare me your sound effects. Tell the story straight, or you will make me vexed. Sorry. The thing is, Dog is gone. And so was the receptionist. There was no one there, and I don't know what to do. Hmm. It seems that yours and Dog's investigations have the same fate. To find one, you must solve the other at any rate. Hmm. Look for eyes that might have seen. Use your skills so they come clean. You mean the receptionist? But I don't know where he is either. Meanwhile, what is that? Did you hear that? It sounded like someone creeping out of our car and hiding somewhere nearby. Yeah, me neither. Huh? 
The receptionist is one option, yes. But that was not my first guess. I was thinking about consulting with the dead. That is someone who's unable to have fled. The dead? How? If finding Doc Mendoza is your goal, you must go deep into the rabbit hole. Uh -huh. You don't need to despair and resort to prey. To contact the dead, there are many a good way. Here in Chinatown, a book of spells you'll find that for a moment, your soul to deads can bind. Find all the ingredients, don't go blind, and the results will blow your mind. Only for $69.99. Of course. I don't have any kind of money. I'm an unpaid apprentice. <sighs> then I wish you lots of luck. Can you at least tell me which ingredients I need? You'll draw a circle on the ground if you want to travel safe and sound. With a pencil or something? I would rather use some chalk, and I would listen instead of talk. Then a candle with nice aroma will put your mind in a dreamlike coma. Okay. Coma? I'm liking this idea less and less. Add a silver chain to your collection. It will grant you great protection. From the book, you must read aloud to be almost there and make me proud. And a dash of black powder you must throw to light up the room and finish the show. Okay, to sum it up, find the receptionist and find the spell book, a piece of chalk, a silver chain, a scented candle and some black powder. Got it. Don't be scared to give me a shout. And come back to me if you're in doubt. Okay. Oh, one more thing. It's dangerous to go alone. Take this. I swear, if, if, if I get a sword right now. A taser? Close enough. In case someone but me, your lips try to kiss. Thanks. Bye for now, I guess. Yeah, let's let's just go. Let's just go. And you know what? I'm gonna end this video here. I. Don't know what that thing was that got out of the car, but we'll find that out hopefully in the next video. If you do enjoy, hit that like button. And if you're new to my channel, hit that subscribe button and get a friend to subscribe as well. I really appreciate it. And hit that bell icon to stay up to date on when I upload. And comment down below and tell me how you guys are feeling today. And with all that said, and with all that said, have a wonderful day. Thank you all for watching, and I will see you in the next video.